Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Extremely well as well. Rise is going to be the final lock in, but Betty, as you brought up how proficient Unicorns of Love and G2 are both at team fighting. Well, Unicorns of Love seem to be a lot more focused on the team fighting than they G2. lost the 2v2, so they preemptively swapped to the top, and already they're looking for something. Oh, trying to go in. That's the ultimate coming out from Kenny. Visit Chachi. Looking to feel pretty comfortable here, but the bot lane just not there in time. First blood drops for G2. So if you look at the minimap, you actually see Sven in the bottom where Zerse was, and there was the fear as a gang happens. Oh, Exile in trouble. He's going to get slowed down by the Bilgewater. Cutlass looking for a little bit more. Can't find the third stack there. Exile now running for his life. Expect may have overstayed. Now trying to get out. Is stunned up. That's going to be the first kill dropping, but Expect is set to fall to Xerxe. Now backing off, but Trick is hungry for a little bit of blood. Sonic Wave doesn't connect. If it can get to that point. Oh, it's oh, okay. going to get started. That's the Zaya Rakan. Really no hope to escape here for Sven. Still going to make it out. No flash forward on the auto attack. The deadly plumage playing cleanup. No saying now back. Mid lane. They didn't actually get anything from it. Perks, quickness, leap over, charmed up, chain CC comes in, Perks now goes down, that's another one for Xerxe, nice setup from the Unicorns. And we talked about the Karma pick earlier on. Imsile placed his, but the team's really much more proactive this time around, and now they're looking to keep the chain CC going, where's the Feather Storm gonna be? Not gonna come out quite yet, but in comes the Pony. Down goes the ninja. Unicorns of Love have turned this around so quickly. And bear in mind. But the slow, making it easy to get out. Now Perks the one in trouble though. Here comes the pony trying to get knocked back to the team. The CC between these two guys is too much for Perks to handle. In goes Rakan. That's just the icing on the cake. And Perks gets knocked out. And the easiest thing to do against the 1 3 1 is yield. Maybe to get it, getting lower and lower. Charmed up the chain CC comes in. Baron will drop. Trick not able to make it in time. Now Perks and Trick gonna have to back off. But that is what they can do. Well, I don't think G2 are going to get a chance. Oh, knock up Chain CC. That's the Wombo Combo digging forward. The Corns of Love burning some cooldowns, but the repents may be too much for the Mithy. Gonna get burned up. There's so much damage for Mr. Chachi. Mithy may be set to fall, but he's going to back out. Rise on the hunt for blood, and now they're going to have to back away. Rakan ready to go forward. Grand entrance. Leap right back out with that battle dance. Now it's Mr. Chachi. He goes golden. Sven goes down. Unicorns crush the fight, and now they're just playing with their food. Exquisite team fight from the Unicorns of Love. Perfectly utilizing their composition to what looks like a swift game one in favor of you. Oh. Perk's gonna get dropped. The Hecarim just keeps calling in. The Cannon wants to try to turn it. He's gonna get two back, but he may have taken down the bot lane, but it's simply too little too late on the side of Expect. And G2 getting taken down by Unicorns of Love here in game one in an insanely dominant fashion. Yeah, 26 minutes only. We showed before this game even started that G2 Esports was 17 and 4 against the Unicorns of Love. This is the first time I've seen Unicorns completely dominate G2 Esports. The only reason Unicorns fell behind early was due to that laning phase in the bottom lane where they lost time.